Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Hi, students. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to another day of class. Hello, Martita. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Hello. Edwin. Hello, Luis. Hi. Ay, qué calor hace aquí. Hace calor en sus casas. Sí. Yes. It's very hot today. Really? It's a very hot day. I think we are going to use this one. Okay. Did you have the opportunity to practice, to investigate a little bit about the topics? Hola. Yeah. Hola, pequeño, ¿cómo estás? So today we are going to work a little bit on uh, telling the time. We are also going to work on the prepositions at, in, in, and on, right? We are going to develop those topics. And for sure, we are going to practice and check that the platform is ready. Okay, vamos a ver que toda la plataforma esté listo para esa tercera sección. Y ya vamos a dejar eh, solo la última sección en puerta, que es la que tenemos que terminar para el próximo lunes. So, because we are finishing on the 17th, next Wednesday we finish. El próximo miércoles terminamos este módulo. Ya como si nada, niños, acabo de iniciar con ustedes y ya me los van a quitar. <risa> no me los quiten, no me lleven a mis niños. No. Pero eh, para que ustedes vayan teniendo ya el orden, que vayan dejando todo en orden, que vayan dejando eh, las unidades completas y pues que todo nos salga súper, súper bien. Welcome Odalis, welcome Roxy, Isabel, Mr. Américo, Mr. José. And for sure, Edwin, that was here, Brendita, Marta, Ronald, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you all here. So let me just open my presentations and we're going to start today with what we are going to do. And for sure, with your investigations to see what you have from the topics. Let me see. How was your weekend, people? ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? ¿Qué hicieron? Uh -huh. Descansar. How was <laughs> to sleep? You said. <laughs> okay, you rest. What else? What else did you do? ¿Qué más hicieron? So you say, you re I rest, you say. Uh -huh. What else? I do a study. <laughs> ah, I started, you say. I started. I started. I... Okay. What else? What else did you do? I work. You work, right? Oh, that's like the, the worst part of everything, right? When you work, right? What else? I work, you say, I studied, I rested. What else did you do? Did you watch TV? Did you use I social media? I cleaned the house. I cleaned the house. Very good, right? I cleaned the house. What else? Any other activity that you do on your weekend? I studied, right? I studied. I studied. I studied. Good. So you studied, you cleaned the house, you did your homework, you practice on the platform. What else? What else what did you do? Me? I watch TV, right? I watch TV. That's pretty good, right? That you had the opportunity to watch television. Good, very nice. So 
those are the different activities that we do on our weekends, right? What is your favorite? What is your favorite activity from the weekend? Sleep. Sleep, right? That is one of my favorite activities too, right? That I can sleep and for sure that I can spend time with my family and do nothing, right? Watch movies and, and enjoy, right? So let me just share it here. On the previous class, we had the opportunity to work on uh, the adverbs of frequency, right? I gave you a little introduction of it. But what did you have the chance to investigate? ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de investigar un poquito más acerca de los adverbs of frequency? Yes, no, no, yes. If not, tell me, be honest. Yes. And we work. Okay, Isabel, what did you, what did you investigate? ¿Qué este, investigaste? Uh -huh. yo, yo investigué y dice ahí que los adverbos de, frecuen de frecuencia son as why, almost as why, usually, uh -huh. often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, 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 uh -huh. rarely hardly over, y never. They never okay so very good you have the you have those examples right like the ones that we were sharing in the conversation right do you remember the conversation that we were working on right that they have different activities that they do during the week that some of them cook some others don't cook so very good examples isabel that we have the adverbs of frequency anything else that you investigated Algo más que hayan investigado de los adverbs of frequency or the time? How do you tell the time? If not either, I am going to help you as well, right? Because we are going to work on telling the time as well. And it is going to be it is going to be something nice you will see. Okay, so here I have a little um, here I have a little example that I wanted to show you. And let me open the other one for the time. And here it is the other one. Okay, I have an intro an in uh, okay. Okay, there it is. So here we were working on this one on the previous time. Okay, this is, oh, sorry. Here it is. This is the one that we were working, right? This is the conversation that we were working. And this conversation included the different adverbs of frequency, right? We had, for example, this ones. I have all the ones, right? I have always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, and never. And as you can see here, next to each of them, I have all the frequency, right? The frequency for always is 100% of the times, right? Usually it's something that you do 90% of your times. Normally, it's 80%. Often, it's 70%. Sometimes, it's 50%. Occasionally, 30%. Seldom, 10%. Hardly ever, it's 5 And never is 0%. How do you use them in sentences? In the sentences, for example, here, you have always. Always means that it's 100% of the time. And it says, I always have breakfast at 8 a.m. So it means that you never change. It's all the time at the same time. Always, right? Ya sabemos que a las 8 de la mañana, ahí está usted y sus dos pupusas juntos en esa cita puntual. 8 a.m. in the morning, you, the coffee, and the pupusas always together. And that's the way it is, right? I always have breakfast at 8 a.m. No me van a ver comiendo a las seis ni a las ocho y media. At eight, 
right? That's the time that you always do. Usually, I usually take a shower at six in the morning, right? Maybe some days is early, some days is later, but usually it's at six in the morning. I normally go to bed at 8 a.m. That's the time at 8 a.m. I go to work, <laughs> go to bed. Ya, los quiero mandar a acostar. ¿no? I normally go to work at 8 in the morning, right? That is the time that you normally go to work. Ignore this one, right? This is another example. I often eat chicken at lunch, right? I often eat chicken at lunch. That it means that sometimes you have hamburgers, sometimes you have a chori, sometimes you have, uh, I don't know, a torta mexicana, but often you eat chicken, right? I often eat chicken at lunch. The next one you say, I sometimes, I sometimes buy lunch at work, right? I sometimes buy lunch at work. That it means that in some cases you cook, in some cases, you take something from your house. And in other cases, you buy lunch at work. I occasionally go to the gym. So it happens from time to time. But you go to the gym, right? Maybe in a month, you go four times, five times, six times, right? Occasionally go to the gym. I seldom go to the beach, right? Seldom, it means like maybe just in Holy Week. Tal vez solamente en Semana Santa. Tal vez solamente en Navidad. Right? I seldom go to the beach. The next one. I hardly ever sleep early. And it's one of my examples, right? I hardly ever sleep early. Maybe only on Saturday and Sunday, I go to bed before 10, right? Casi nunca. I hardly ever sleep early. It's like, no, teacher. Quizás nunca. And I never eat fish. I never eat fish is that uh, I don't like it. I'm allergic, right? I never do it. So in the structure of the sentence, you are going to have here, the subject you are going to have plus the adverb of frequency plus the verb plus the complement. Right? That is the structure that you are going to follow in order to create a sentence with an adverb of frequency. The subject, the adverb of frequency, the verb, and the complement. Right? I never go to the beach. I never cook breakfast. I always watch TV. I always go to work at 8. And then you have a complement of time. Right? I sometimes cook lunch. I always clean my house, right? There you have all the different elements of a sentence, right? So you have the subject, the adverb of frequency, the verb, and the complement, right? I never watch horror movies. You have one sentence. I always have class at seven. And you have another sentence, right? Follow the example. And tell me one activity with the adverb of frequency that you do normally, sometimes, always, almost always, right? You can say, I always take the bus. I never watch TV. I normally check Facebook, right? Create examples. And I need you to tell them to me to see if you have grasped how to use the adverbs of frequency. Okay, any example that you can give me? Create, open, open your microphone and tell me one example. I always go to work. I always go to work. 
There it is. I always go to work. Another one. I, al I always take a bus running. I always take a bus in the morning. Good. I always take a bus in the morning. Another one. I always watch TV at night. I always watch TV at night, right? I always watch TV always. at night. For example. Always drink coffee for the morning. I always drink coffee in the morning, right? I always drink coffee in the morning. Okay. What else? Give me another example. I usually get, get up yeah. late. Okay, I usually get up late, right? I usually get up, get up late. late. Get up late. Very good. Give me another example. More examples. Give me one example with sometimes. <laughs> Give me one example with sometimes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. One example with I sometimes. sometimes. I sometimes visit my friends. I sometimes visit my friends. Very good. I sometimes visit my friends. Give me one example with never. I never... I never go to the beach. I never go to the beach, right? I never go to the beach. Is it true? Que de verdad que nunca vas a la playa? Never. I never go to the beach, right? Hey, you don't like it or you don't go? I don't have time. I don't have time, neither do I, right? Why? We never have time. So tell me one sentence with usually. I usually... I usually ex exercise in the morning. I usually exercise in the morning. Good. Let's see. Give me another example with occasionally. Occasionally. Uh huh. Occasionally. Ah, yeah, in ocasiones. I occasionally go to occasionally? the church. Occasionally? I occasionally go to the church, right? You see? Pero miren, si así está el calor ahorita. <laughs> Here on earth, <laughs> imagine there. It will be very hot, people. Yo creo que sí, ¿verdad? hemos buscado la conversión. <laughs> Porque así, está, porque así así está de caliente aquí, imagínense cuando lleguemos allá. Allá nos vemos. Allá nos vemos. I always go to the church. I go, very good centers. Right? I always go to the church, right? And Jesus. Mm -hmm. I always go to church. That's very good. Excellent. So. I have my best friends here. Yo tengo mis amigas aquí las tarjetas. They are my best friends. I use them for everything, definitely. And they are very useful. I have here a couple of, there I have here a couple of examples. And here I have some activities. This is for never. I never what? I never sweep the backyard. I never sweep the backyard. It's like, nah, I know. I así que quede, right? Or I never clean, right? You can clean. say, I never clean the backyard. I never clean the backyard. Okay? I never clean the backyard. What about this one? Sometimes. 
I never. Sometimes play the guitar. I, I sometimes see. play the guitar, right? I sometimes play the guitar. I occasionally. I occasionally sing one song. I occasionally sing one song, or I occasionally sing karaoke, right? I occasionally sing karaoke. Let's see. Occasionally sing karaoke. I occasionally sing karaoke. This is for Evelyn. Never. <laughs> I never. I never. Uh, Right, 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 right. I never use some bicycle. I never ride. So you say, I never ride a bike. I never ride a bike. Never ride a bike. Okay, who else cannot ride a bike? ¿Quién más no puede andar en bici aquí para que hagamos un grupo? Roxana, Emily, Norma. You cannot do it. No. <laughs> I cannot ride a bike. I am very bad on this one. I remember when I was a little girl. I, mi casa queda, bueno, mi casa en Santa Ana, queda en una bajadita, ¿sí? Queda en una, una gran bajada. Entonces mi papá iba conmigo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my daddy was like, yes, you can do it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And I was like, yay, I am doing it. Daddy, I, I am doing it. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> and so I didn't see my father. And I was like, what? <laughs> All over, downhill. It's a trauma. <laughs> and I mean, all, all my knees were scratched. It was so horrible. I had a lot of blood there. Like, no tenía ni codos ni rodillas. It was so terrible. And I was very angry. And I said, I will never do this anymore. <laughs> and I never did. And I was like, maybe not. I can't. <laughs> <Aquí no. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot ride a bike. So I never ride bikes. What about this one? Always. <laughs> I always I always eat the cat. Comer. Dar de comer. Aló, salva natura. How do you say alimentar? Ah, a very good question. How do you say alimentar? Feed. 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 I always feed the cat because if you say I always, que me iba a comer. Yeah, I always eat the cat, it's like nyam, nyam. I wish I always feed the cat, right? Feed the cat. <laughs> feed is alimentar, right? When you give the food to the cat, not when you bite the cat. Maybe in China, yes, they do it. Maybe. Spell. Maybe near Estadio Cucatlán. Maybe. Spell feed. 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 Yeah, feed, feed is alimentar. Ahí se los envíen el chat. I sometimes feed the cat. No, I always feed the cat. No me vaya a decir, I occasionally feed the cat. Man. The cat, I all hungry. What about this one? Occasionally. I occasionally play in the park. I occasionally play in the park. Good. Very nice. What about this one? Sometimes. 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 I sometimes buy flowers, right? For Mother's Day, it's very common, right? I sometimes buy flowers. 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 Yeah. Tip de doñita, mejor regalele la planta, no le regale las flores. It's better. <laughs> las flores se le van a marchitar, la planta no. 
Bueno, sí, ah. pero que la riegue. <risa> What about this? <risa> often. Rose. I, I often. I often. Ajá, plants. But what is the verb? I often plant plants, right? I often plant plants. It is the same. The verb plant, it's the same, but it's, it's you use it as a verb, right? I often plant, and then the other one, it's in plural, right? I often plant plants. Um, or you can say work work in the garden. That is another form, right? Hacer jardinería, work in the garden. I occasionally work in the garden, right? That you grow plants and you take plants, you cut flowers, etc. right? Never. I never. I never repair the TV, right? What is another verb for repair? I never. Fix, very good job. Yeah? I never fix the TV. What about this one? Every Saturday. Every Saturday. ¿Se acuerdan que las de frecuencia definitiva van al final? Every Saturday. I go where? I go to the salon. I go to the salon. I go to the salon every Saturday. I go to the salon every Saturday. What about this one? Never. I never visit. Visit what? Hospital. The hospital right now. No, no, no. I never visit the hospital. The next one. We have this one. Ah. Every weekend. I go to the supermarket every weekend. I go to the supermarket every weekend or every weekend I go shopping. Shop. I go shopping. I go shopping every weekend. Mm, seldom. 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 I seldom wash my clothes. I seldom wash my clothes, right? What is another form for wash my clothes? It is, I seldom do the, do the laundry, right? I seldom do the laundry. That is laundry. another form, do the laundry. That is another form that we have, right? I seldom do the do laundry. laundry. I seldom do the laundry. Good. This, I am going to send it on the chat. Here we have, laundry. give me just a second, do the laundry I seldom do the laundry right there you go lavar ropa. hacer eh, como a lavar la ropa right there you go I seldom do the laundry ah, sorry these people are <laughs> they forget that I have classes the next one oye, oye. I have this one go skiing Never. I never go skiing. I never go skiing, right? I never go skiing. What about this one? Every Sunday. Never. <laughs> I never, you say, I never. <laughs> go dancing, right? Go dancing. I go dancing every Sunday. I go dancing every Sunday, right? What about this one? And you give me one uh, adverb of frequency. As you say, let's an adverb of frequency. If. Yes. 
paint the house. I, I sometimes paint the house. I sometimes paint the house. I think I paint the house once, once a year. Pero que una vez al año, no, no. From time to time. Go to the theater. Give me never. your frequency. So you say, never. I never. I never go to the to theater, the theater, right? I never go to the theater. And what about this one? Have a stomach cake. <laughs> Have a stomach cake. I occasionally have a stomach ache, right? Hardly ever. I hardly ever, right? So you say have a stomach ache. Have a stomach ache. You say like, ah, un panchuco, bien va, es así. But que bueno estaba, you say. And then stomach ache. Yeah, un mata niño. Un pan con ripio. Stomach ache. Later on, right? So those are the examples that I have to practice on this topic, but I am going to create some more, right? From all the examples that I gave you, I need you to send me two sentences on the chat. The todos los ejemplos que vimos. Write two sentences on the chat. Go ahead. Write two sentences on the chat from all the examples that we saw. Okay? De todos los ejemplos que vimos. Write two sentences on the chat. It can be on the WhatsApp chat. It can be on the Zoom chat. I need you to create two examples. Two examples of this. Two. Okay, create two examples to the chat, please. And I am going to eliminate this one. And here we go. Thank you. I got two on I got it on the WhatsApp chat. Ajá. Espérenme, le voy a compartir la pantalla para que no tengamos problemas con spelling. There you go. There you have the screen. I have some messages on WhatsApp. Let's see. Yes, I have examples here and I have examples on the chat. I always drink coffee in the morning. I always, what? Okay, I always wash frets. What is that? ¿Cuál era su segundo ejemplo, Lisania? Uh -huh. It says, I, I always water the plants, right? You plant? I always water the plants. Mm -hmm. No decimos watering. Después del, del adverb frequency, vamos con un verbo normal. I always water the plants. I sometimes I go shopping. Okay. O Danlis, en ese caso tenemos doble sujeto. Que es solamente I sometimes go shopping. I never go to church. I normally clean my house. Very good. I always play video games on the weekend. Excellent. I always water the plants. I sometimes dance. I always cook dinner. I go to church every Sunday. I often visit my mother. I never go to the theater. I never go to the theater, Ronald. I sometimes, con ese, I sometimes, Edwin, sometimes go swimming. Después de go, ahí sí podemos poner un, un ING en las acciones, right? I sometimes go swimming. I sometimes go shopping. I sometimes go dancing. Yes. But if you say, I sometimes go to, es un lugar. Go to church, go to school, go to university, right? So let's correct that one. I sometimes go 
swimming. Right, there you have. And I have five more messages. I always play, I always study at night. Good, I sometimes think out the house. I sometimes think out the house. I de. A veces piensa afuera de la casa. Salir. No es salir. No, go out. Go out the house. I sometimes, yo a veces salgo de casa. Eso es lo que querías poner. Sí. Ok, I, I will write it for you. Ok, aquí te lo voy a corregir. I sometimes go out of the house. Que a veces salir de casa. I sometimes go out of the house. You can use it. Think es pensar. But that's, that's normally, I do it too, right? I sometimes think outside the house. I sometimes think outside the house. A veces me salgo a la puerta para pensar. I sometimes think outside the house. Or I sometimes think about my house, right? A veces pienso en mi casa. It's like, well, I drink coffee in the morning. Coffee, double E. I usually use, I usually use the bici. ¿Cómo así, Roxana? ¿Qué queríamos decir ahí? ¿La bici de bicicleta o la bici de ocupada? Roxanita, ¿a qué te referías en la oración? Se me hizo la Roxy. Puse. ¿Ah? ¿Cómo puse? I usually use the bici. Ah, que uso la bicicleta. Ah, o sea, the, the bicycle. Ok, that's good, that's good. Así, por eso me gusta preguntar. Right? I usually use the bicycle. I, ok, I usually use the bicycle. Or the bike, you can say, to make it easy, right? I sometimes, I usually use the bike, you can say. I always eat breakfast. En este caso no decimos eat. I always eat breakfast. Okay, I always eat breakfast. The next one. Here we have, I always, always, con S. I always, Edwin, que no nos la S. I always go to work. Right? I never drink coffee. I never drink, no, right? I never drink, Evelyn. Quitemos la S ahí. I never drink coffee in the night. No se usa así, sino que decimos at night. At night. And what about the next one? I hardly ever go to the cinema. Ronald, it's the cinema or the movies. You can say, I never go to the cinema or to the movies. There you have the two options. What about the next one? I never go to the beach. Very good. I often eat fish for lunch. Normal. I often eat fish for lunch. No, at lunch. Okay. I often eat fish for lunch. And I always drink coffee in the morning. I always. Brenda Elizabeth. I always drink coffee. And I sometimes work on Saturday. I never go to concerts. Luis Parrilla. I usually play soccer. I always use the bicycle. Good. I always drink coffee at night. I never go to concerts. Así era. <laughs> there you go. I usually use my laptop. Excellent. So those are the examples. Those are the examples of the sentences that we can use. And those are very correct, right? The ones that you have here. Now, I am going to leave you, I am going to give you this little time for you to practice. You have to give me one, not three, one thing that you do on Saturday morning, one thing that you do on Sunday morning, and one thing that you do on weekdays. Una cosa que hacen solo el sábado en la mañana, solo el domingo en la mañana, y entre semana. Right, one sentence on each. So, how are you going to write it? ¿Cómo lo van a escribir entonces? If you have here the adverb of frequency, what do you do on Saturday morning? You can say, I always, for example, I'm going to make it like this. 
I always work on Saturday. I always, I always work on Saturday morning. That's my example, right? On Sunday morning, I usually uh, teach on Sunday morning. No, I think it is it is not usually. I will say I occasionally I will say. I occasionally teach on Sunday morning. And on weekdays, I often have meetings on weekdays. Okay, so those three are my examples. Esos tres son mis ejemplos. What about you? Give me three things. One that you always do on Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and the weekdays. The weekdays are the days of the week, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And once you have them ready, raise your hand. Cuando vayan terminando, levanten su manita y dejenla levantada en el chat para que yo ya sepa que ya las tiene. Así, ya sé cuando todos han terminado. Ok, levanten sus manitas ahí en el chat para que yo sepa que ya terminan. Thank you, Griselda. Okay, I have one hand up. Okay, pero si quieren déjenme las ahí levantaditas para que yo ya vaya, que los vaya viendo cuando van terminando. Thank you very much. Okay, I have Griselda already. Okay, more hands up, more hands up. Only, only one. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. Quien me vaya terminando las oraciones me avisa, porfa. No, but raise your hand, raise your hand. Necesito que levanten la manita para que yo sepa quiénes ya terminaron. Porque vamos a la segunda parte de la actividad.
Ok. Si se van a las opciones, ahí donde dice reacciones, dice levantar la mano. Sale una manita así para que usted la pueda levantar. Sí. Y le va a salir así como la tengo yo aquí. Ahí está. Excelente. Si ya terminaron, levanten la manita y déjenla ahí levantar. Very good. Very good. Good. In some cases, let me see. A veces cuando uno levanta la mano, se la reconoce. Este no es mi caso. <laughs> no. Pero hay unos que sí lo hacen. So please, when you finish, raise your hand. Thank you very, very much. Keep your hand up, please. Keep your hand up there when you finish. So meanwhile you finish, I am going to give the chance. Okay, so the different adverbs of frequency. One question that you might have, one question that you might have is the use of he and she. Right? In the use of he and she, what changes is the verb, right? She always goes, right? Como lo usamos en tercera persona, right? She always goes to the nightclub. She always cleans the house. But for he, she, and it, right? He always dances. Okay? That is one thing. But when we come back, we are going to practice the third person form. So right now, you are going to share your sentences. Okay, ya tienen sus oraciones creadas and we are going to do only two groups, right? In order to share the sentences. Okay, we'll make three. And there you go. I need you to share your sentences. Compartan sus oraciones. Go ahead. Accept my invitation to go to the groups and share your sentences. Thank you, Sally. Okay, Sally, let me know if you accept uh, if you receive it, yes. Okay, good. So my dear students, you are going to share your sentences with your group. Please read the three sentences for your group. Okay. Domingo igual tenía que hacer una oración lo que tenía que lo que hace en la mañana. Okay. Usando los verbos, ¿cómo es? Los adverbios. Los adverbios. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, and never. Very good. Eso puede Very hacer good. las oraciones. Okay. Y lo que hace entre semana. ¿Qué es lo que normalmente hace o a menudo hace o lo que nunca hace entre semana? Good, good, good. Hey, I have very good teachers here. I like it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, my friends. So the example that we are working on is this one. Let me just share it with you. It's right here. This is the example that we are working on, right? And you say, I always work on Saturday. Those are my, my sentences, right? Esos son mis ejemplos, right? I always work on Saturday morning. I occasionally teach on Sunday morning. And I often have meetings on weekdays. So those are my three examples. What about the rest of you? Okay. 
¿Qué ejemplos tienen ustedes? Cuéntenme. Yo tengo always. Es que I always, always, como con always. I always study every Sunday. Pero yo puse Sunday, domingo. Sunday. I always study every Sunday, right? I always study every Sunday. What about the next I, one? I oculuecho. I what? <laughs> Ay, que no puedo decir occasion. 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 ¿Qué es eso? Ese, en mis 19 años de carrera docente, nunca había escuchado ese adverbio. <risa> occasion. Occasionally. Occasionally. Este es, ¿verdad? Occasionally. Sí. Okay, listen. <laughs> Oculation. <laughs> okay. 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 Normally, often, 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 no, say often. Imagínense que no tiene te. I often, often, I often, I sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Occasionally. occasionally, occasionally, occasionally. The next one, occasionally, occasionally. seldom, 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 seldom. hardly ever, in never. Hardly ever. And never. Hardly ever. And never. Okay, hardly, like hardly never. ever and never. Okay, I sometimes have visitors in my class. You see, I have one here today. Ta -da! <laughs> he is my, my kid. Go, go to work. Okay, so. Yeah. Occasionally. Ajá, ahora, Brendita, aquí no pasó nada. Give me your example. I... I always mm -hmm. study uh -huh. every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every, every Sunday. Sunday. Ahí cuando vamos a la nevería, deme un Sunday. Ahí sí, vea. <laughs> every Sunday. Every Sunday, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, I always study every Sunday. Uh -huh. I always study every Sunday. Very good. <laughs> I occasionally, occasionally, occasion, occasionally. Am... Occasion, que es como ocasión. Occasionally, uh -huh. ocasionalmente, right? Occasionally. I occasionally. No, cho, no. I, I occasionally. I occasionally. Okay. <laughs> I occasionally, I sleep. Early. Ajá. I occasionally I. No podemos tener dos I. No podemos tener mm -hmm. dos verbos. You say I occasionally sleep early, right? I occasionally sleep early. Early. Good. Y lo otro no lo encontré. No sé qué hago. <laughs> On the weekdays. ¿Qué haces en la semana? Todos los días, de lunes a viernes. Mm. ¿Al trabajo no vas? ¿Cómo no? So, there you go. <laughs> I, okay, I always <laughs> go to work on weekdays. Right? I, of, I often... Ah, o sea, que falta a veces. <laughs> <laughs> I often... Uh -huh. I often have drink. uh -huh. drinks. Drinks. Sí. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I often have drinks on the weekend. <laughs> Teacher Nati, que bonito el inglés. <laughs> I often have drinks. That's that's kind of critical. <laughs> en inglés cuando decís, I, I want to have a couple of drinks. Es que te querés echar un par de tragos. 
So you have to be very careful, right? I want to have a couple of. What do you say? How do you say? <laughs> let me write it. Let me write it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a couple of drinks. A, a couple, couple of drinks. Of drinks. Couple but if you say, I sometimes have different drinks for lunch, it's different. Porque tomas horchata, tomas fresco, tomas agua, cebada, carajo, whatever, right? But if you want to say, if you tell me, I often have a couple of drinks on the week, <laughs> right? Después del trabajo, yay! Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we need to be very careful with English, right? Or, or you can say, I sometimes uh, drink something for lunch. But is it drink something for lunch? It significa que es algo que tomas con el almuerzo. Una regia. So you have to be very careful. That's, if you tell me only drinks, ya sabemos que son. Okay, okay. continue okay. working. Okay, ya apoyamos a, a Brendita. Ahora se apoyan entre ustedes. Continue. I will check the other kids that are working. Ajá. Examples. Uh -huh. A ver, denme los ejemplos. Ya veo un church. Ve. Celina me está enseñando ahí los ejemplos. Ajá. Ok, la primera pregunta, al menos el que yo he hecho, sería: What do you do? What do you do on Saturday morning? I always sleep on Saturday morning. I always sleep on Saturday morning. ¿Los demás? I always cook my. Breakfast. I always cook my breakfast. Very good. What about the other ones? Uh, I always drink coffee on Saturday morning. I always drink coffee on Saturday morning. Good. Selena. Selena. Uh, yo en la primera puse I, I usually. I usually. Usually. In, I usually serve me in the show. I usually serve in the church, right? I usually serve in the church. Okay. Marielos. <laughs> no, what is the, what is the, uh, there is a meme, atrapado. <laughs> atrapado. <laughs> okay, nadie ve estas clases. Bueno, sí, a veces ven los videos en Facebook. Teaching. Yeah. ¿Qué significa la palabra something? Okay, I was going to explain that. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Times means, in this case, times means veces. Sometimes, some is algunas. Time is veces. Sometimes is algunas veces. Okay, sometimes, you say. I sometimes buy lunch at work. Alguna veces. A veces, you say. But pronunciation. I want to work on pronunciation. You say always. Sometimes. Always. 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 Usually. 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 Normally. 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 Often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. Occasionally. Seldom. Seldom. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Never. 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 Okay, good. Very good. So Never. continue continue giving your examples. I am going to check only the last group. Solo me falta ir al último grupo y nos vamos todos juntos para allá. Let's check. Por si las flies. Y se dice Saturday. 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 No. Gracias. Gracias. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Julio, creo que se llamaba. ¿verdad? Julio. Ah, Roxanita. Ah, perdón. ¿Cómo se llamaba? Julio se llama. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo que se llama? Sí, Julio. Ajá, gracias a Julio que siempre nos apoya. Me encanta ese apoyo moral que me da. Sí, sí. Julio es el, el es su esposo. ¿verdad? El esposo de Roxana, ¿no? Sí. Ajá, Julio es el esposo de Roxana que siempre nos ayuda ahí con las correcciones fraternas. <risa> So, el, en el otro módulo quiero ver inscrito a Julio también. Para que estén los dos inscritos ahí. 
en ¿Y usted clase. va a estar con nosotras en el otro módulo? Pues yo tengo ahí unas cuantas veladoras y dos rosarios en el proceso. En <risa> <risa> cadena de oración para que no me lo quiten. I, I, I hope that I will have the chance, right? I will definitely love to have the chance. Yo sí me encantaría tener la oportunidad de tenerlos de nuevo en el siguiente módulo. Me ha pasado que me dan el módulo siguiente ahí, si no intercedan por mí. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, examples. I want your examples. Give me one example. One. Isabel, give me one, one of your examples. I, I always feed the dog on Saturday morning. I always feed the dog on Saturday morning, right? I always feed the dog on Saturday morning. Griselda? I always eat lunch with my friends on Saturday morning. I, I always eat breakfast. <laughs> eat breakfast with my friends on yeah. Saturday morning. Very good. Roxana? I tiene... Me cuesta. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I generally dress clothes on Saturday in the morning. I generally wash clothes on Saturday, Saturday morning. morning, right? I generally. And then you add generally. another adverb of frequency. Super generally. bien, que agregaste un adverb of frequency nuevo. I generally wash, wash clothes, clothes on Saturday morning. On Saturday morning. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Morning. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Saturday morning. Astrid. Saturday morning. Astrid and then Aide. I always, always have late, later Saturday morning. I always get up early, right? Get up, I'm uh, not late. Get up late. On Saturday morning, I always get up late on Saturday morning. I did. I always cook in the Saturday for the morning. I always cook on Saturday morning. I always cook on Saturday morning. And then you can say I always cook breakfast, right? It can be. I always could cook breakfast. Okay. So let's go back to the main room, please. Let's go back. Hello, Martita. Give me your example. Dame tu ejemplo, Martita. Marta, Alicia, deme sus ejemplos. I always go shopping on Saturday morning. I always go shopping. I always go shopping on Saturday morning. I always go shopping on Saturday morning. Good. I always, you say, I always. I always go to church on Sunday. I always go to church. Go to church. Go to church on church. Sunday. On Sundays. 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 Good. I always go to church on Sundays. Things that we do on Saturday morning. ¿Qué hacemos el sábado en la mañana? Ronald. The microphone, sweetie. I cannot listen to you. I always clean my room. I always clean my room, right? Always clean my room. Edwin, Saturday morning. I always go to work. Uh, Carolina, Saturday morning. I... Occasionally clubs Saturday Monday. I occasionally what? ¿Cuál es el verbo? I occasionally uh, clothes. Ajá, the clothes uh, es lavar. El, el, ah, lavar. So that's the verb. What is the verb lavar? Sí. Wash. Wash. Wash clothes, right? I sometimes wash, wash clothes on Saturday morning. Selena, Saturday morning. Uy, 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 cuidado. Morning. Yes, Saturday. Saturday. 
Saturday. Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Bueno. Dijo la teacher que I, I usually. I usually. Usually. I usually serve in the chore. I usually serve. 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 Porque la letra in V es así. Serve. The v, 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 V. I usually serve in the church. Serve in, in the, the church. 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 There you go. Brenda Garcia, Sunday morning. Sunday. Sunday morning. Your microphone, Maita. Please, thank you. There we go. I always clean house. I always, always, I always, always, I always clean the house. I always clean the house. Good. Clean. Sunday clean. morning, Griselda Velasquez. No. Sunday. Sunday. I I often I usually visit my mom on Sunday morning. I I often visit my mom. Astrid, Sunday morning. Supermarket on Sunday morning. I sometimes go to the supermarket on Sunday morning. Odalis. Sunday morning. Odali Bonilla, Odali Bonilla. Hello. There you go. <laughs> Sunday morning. I sometimes go to the church. I sometimes go. I sometimes go to the church, I, right? I sometimes go to the church. And what about Roxana? Sunday morning. I always receive class on Sunday morning. No tenemos una clase privada con la Roxana. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I do weekdays. I sometimes buy bread for the breakfast week weekday. No sé si weekdays. I sometimes buy bread for breakfast on weekdays. Uh -huh. Good, very good. Evelyn, on weekdays. The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen to you. I seldom go to the church. I seldom go to the church, right? And Luis Parilla, weekdays. I hardly ever cook breakfast on weekday. I hardly ever cook breakfast. Cook, porque cook es cortar. Cook, cook, cook. cook. And let me see, Isabel. I am missing Isabel and Brenda Martinez. Weekdays. I, 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 I <laughs> Brenda and then Isabel. I'll always, always. I always exercise. Exercise. On Saturday morning. I always exercise on Saturday morning. Isabel. <laughs> Casi lo mismo iba a decir. I, I often, often exercise on weekday. Very good. And Norma, go ahead. Hey, I sometimes visit my grandmother on weekday very good i sometimes visit my grandmother and marta alicia told me the sentence exactly at the moment when i entered so i will call the attendance my dear students but i need i needed you to practice a couple on the pronunciation right you say i always always always, always usually always, always. usually don't say usually okay you say usually usually, usually. normally Normally. Often. Often. Quitemosle la T y decimos often. Often. Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. 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 Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Never. 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 
Okay. Never. Never. So that's the way we do it. It is good for us to practice the pronunciation because later on we cannot be inventing pronunciations there. Así no andamos en el mundo inventando las pronunciaciones. Don't say kitchen or chicken. Un día me decía un niño en una clase. Teacher, I love kitchen sandwiches. Y yo, Kitchen, kitchen es cocina del lugar donde cocinas. So you say, I love kitchen sandwiches, me decía él. Astrid, ¿había ahí la argueta? Thank you. ¿Hay de Lizania? Present. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón. Present, teacher. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez. Present. Celina Janet. Present. Diana Carolina Meléndez. Edwin Ernesto Sánchez. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Griselda Yamilet. Here. Isabel oh, Rocío. Present. José Antonio. Luis Américo. Luis Américo lo vi como un segundo conectado nomás. Luis Humberto yeah, Parrilla. Yeah. Present. Thank you. Marta Alicia. Present. Norma Yamilet. Present. Odalis Marisol. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Roxana de Jesús. Present. And Yolanda Beatriz. A Yolandita igual la vi un ratito conectada nomás. Okay, so let's continue here. And we were working on this one. Okay, I am going to continue here. I have a, four examples on this one. If I ask you these questions, right? I am going to interview you, right? If I ask you, Aide, Aide de Guzmán, how often do you cook? Hardly ever, sometimes, often, every day. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hay de, pregúntele a alguien más. Um, a cualquiera. Any. A uh, Evelyn. Evelyn, ajá. Uh -huh. La misma pregunta. How often do you cook? Evelyn, how often do you cook? Every day. Okay, sometimes lleva uno, every day lleva uno. Evelyn, pregúntale a alguien más. A uh, uh, a Selina. Uh -huh. So Selina, you say Selina, how often do you cook? How often do you cook? Selina. Every day. Every day. Lleva dos ganadores every day. Selina, pregúntale a alguien más. How often do you cook? ¿Cómo se llama? Brenda García se llama. Ah, thank no. you, teacher. Thank you. No, no. El chico. Oh, el chico. Quiere uno guapo. <laughs> oh, my God. She loves, you see. Ronan, Ronan, Ronan. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I often do you cook, Ronan. Uh, hardly ever. Hardly ever. Tenemos un ganador para hardly ever. Okay. Ronald. So, uh, <laughs> Edwin. Otro guapo, ya ve. Edwin, how often yes, do you cook? Yes. Hardly ever. Hardly <laughs> ever, right? <laughs> no, but they cannot cook, people. No, I know. <laughs> Edwin, Edwin, another person. Ask someone else. Griselda oh. Velasquez, yeah, for sure. ¿Quién falta? Griselda. Griselda. How often? Yeah, Griselda. Yes. How often do you cook? Do you cook? Every day. 
every day, right? We got a winner for every day, three answers. How often people, and I'm going to ask with uh, Luis Parrilla, how often do you go jogging? How often do you go jogging? Never, rarely, sometimes, or often. Jogging is salir a correr, salir a trotar. How often do you go jogging? Tras el bus no cuenta, ¿ok? Yo, todos los días. Si fuera atrás del bus, sería always. Every day. All, all the time, teacher. <laughs> Uh -huh. Never. <laughs> Never, right? So uh, in the case of Luis, if you see Luis running, run. Okay. Si ven a Luis corriendo, corra. Because something is happening. <laughs> Because he never goes jogging. Okay, Luis, ask uh, Isabel. Isabel. Yes. Uh, okay, Isabel, who, how, how often? How often do you go jogging? How often do you go jogging? Jogging. Okay. Never. Oh. Never. Tenemos dos ganadores for never. <laughs> Isabel, ask Norma. Norma, how often do you go jogging? Never. Never. Three winners. Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> never, right? Yeah, in an apocalypse zombie. Ah, que me coma. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's like, nah. anyway, right? Ah, aquí, por favor. Bite here. Puedo decir, gracias. Yeah, we're like, I know. <laughs> What for, you say? How often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? And this is for Marta. How often do you watch TV? Um, every day. Every day, every day, every day. Marta, ask Carolina. Tell Carolina, how often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, Carolina, ask Odalis. Your microphone, sweetie, you turn it off. Okay. How, uh, how, of, how often, how often, often do you watch TV? Never. Never. Okay. <laughs> no. Ah, no, tenemos ganadores. Okay, Odalis, ask Brenda Martinez. Uh, Uh, how often do you watch TV? Every day. Every day. We have two winners there. Brenda, ask. Let me see. Ask. Astrid. Astrid, how often do you watch TV? Astrid. How often do you? Uh, sometimes. Uy, no, we have two winners there. Let's see. Uh, Astrid, ask uh, Griselda. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes is the winner. Ding, ding, ding. Do you go to the gym? Let's see. I am going to ask. Chan, chan, chan. Oh, who has him? Ah, Roxana. Roxana, how often do you go to the gym? Never. <laughs> Never. Roxana, ask, uh, let me see, Aide. Aide, how do often you go to the gym? How often do you go to the gym? Aide. Do you go to the gym? Never. <laughs> never. Another never. Okay, I did. Ask Ronald. Do you go? Do you go to the gym? Never. 
Never. <laughs> there you go with it. We don't run and we don't go to the gym. So for sure, we are going to be the perfect food for the zombies, right? Vamos a hacer el plato. <laughs> Vamos a hacer el plato perfecto de un ataque zombie. <laughs> Comida servida. <laughs> Do you go to the gym? No. The question, how often, how often means it's like, ¿qué tan seguido? How often do you go to the gym? How often do you clean the house? How often do you make your bed? ¿Qué tan seguido hacen su cama en la mañana? How often do you make your bed in the morning? Never. Never. Mm. Sí que quede para cuando venga. Yo sé, ah, ya, 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 ya. En la noche cuando vaya a dormir la comoda. So in the morning you do this and when you come to home you go this. <laughs> That's it, right? Así la mañana. <laughs> How often? Para que no cueste. <laughs> Para que nadie se acueste ahí. <laughs> Hay un alacrán bien dormido adentro. <laughs> How often do you go swimming? Never. How often do you go swimming? Never. How Never. often do you? How often do you take a shower? Always. Ah. Always. Sometimes. Always. Sometimes. 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 <laughs> Sometimes, teacher. No, never, never. Never. Well, no. <laughs> eh, nos vamos a quedar después de clase para platicar unos cuantos puntos. <laughs> Esas son cosas aparte. How often do you drive a car? How often do you drive a car? Never. 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 How often do you take a bus? Always. Always. Oh, always. <laughs> How often do you ride a motorcycle? Never. Never. How often do you ride a bike? Sometimes. How often do you talk to your pets? ¿Qué tan seguido platican con sus mascotas? How often always. do you talk to your pets? Always. Always. How often do they answer? ¿Qué tan seguido les contestan? Oh, Hola, Sometimes. Sometimes. So you see, I, I, I have my dog, right? I have my dog. My dog's name is Kiara, right? It's a big dog. And I say, eh, Hola, Kiara, ¿cómo estás? And then I say, Hola, mommy, ¿qué tal? <laughs> I answer myself. <laughs> so, and we create conversations with them, right? So we, we have a very good time, right? Yeah. Ese mi hijo tuvo la suerte de una mamá un poco loca. And it's it's fun, right? Because he says like oh, un poco crazy. <laughs> Tiene simba, yo tengo aquí era un poco crazy. <laughs> yeah, because I say I sometimes say like tengo hambre, mamá, dame de comer, alimento. <laughs> and that's Kiara's voice. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> so here we have there you have a couple of questions right a couple of marketing vocabulary right we have marketing vocabulary that is the one that you can use for example in different places right the ones that you see outside and the ones that you see on the street a billboard a billboard is this big announcement that you see on the streets right in las carreteras más que todo you have the big the billboards right the billboard is esta gran valla publicitaria a logo what is a logo Excellent. what examples it will be number three right this is a logo right number three a brochure what is a brochure a brochure what will be a brochure number eight number eight right a brochure it's something that explains about your company right a recommendation a recommendation number six, six? Wow. Number six? Mm, not really right number five it's a, well, a recommended, it's good, right? A recommendation, there you go. So it can be number five. Number, uh, the next one, a commercial. Number four. Number four, right? This is a commercial. Internet marketing. Number two. Number seven. Number seven, seven. right? Internet marketing is all these businesses that are on the internet, internet marketing. A discount. Number 
Number two. Number two, right? A discount, it's 20% off. So like, oh, wow. It's the Black Friday, right? Valía 100 y ahora se lo damos en 115. No, give me two, you say. A discount. It happens like that, right? Así funciona el Black Friday. Eh, normalmente un producto vale 100. Un mes antes del Black Friday vale 160. El día del Black Friday vuelve a valer 100. And you say, oh, give me two. It's the same price. They don't change it. So it's just like that. Telemarketing. Telemarketing. Number six, because it is on the phone. Telemarketing. It is a very common thing, right? Good morning. We're saying hello from Tigo. I want to give you some offers. Like, I don't want anything. Thank you very much. Telemarketing, right? Telemarketing. And in this one, when you create questions with this one, we use the simple present with do and does. Here, we have one example, right? And let me just move this a little bit. Okay, thank you for the kisses on the gecko. Thank you very much. Gecko, ahí nos tiro besos a todos. Does your marketing have, does your marketing, does your company have a logo? Does your company have a logo? And it's question number one. What about this one? Your company offer discounts. What would be the question? What would be the question? No, no, no. Right now, we are practicing this type of question. Okay, esta ahorita fuera de los adverbs of frequency. We are practicing questions with simple present. Does your company have a logo? We have the next one here. Does your company offer? Does your company offer discounts? What about this one? Does your company get many recommendations? Does your company get many recommendations, right? Many recommendations. It's like, yes, go to that academy. That's very good. Inglés Corporativo is the best. I mean, there, go to study there. Those are recommendations, right? Get many recommendations. The next one. Does your company advertise? Does your company advertise? Advertises like se publica, se publicita, right? Does your company advertise on billboards? What about the next one? Does your company use internet marketing? Does your company use internet marketing? What about the next one? Telemarketing, good. The next one, number seven. That's your company. That's your company. Your company. Brochures. 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 Does your company print brochures, right? Outside Metro Centro, right? There you go. There you go. There you go. Go to it. There you go. <laughs> so does your company print brochures? Yes, my company does it. Number eight. Does your company advertise on television? Advertise on television. Okay, I have this question for you and you can tell me yes or no. Does your company have a logo? With the place where you work? Donde ustedes trabajan, tienen un logo? Yes. What is the logo that you have? What is the logo? Hey. Ah, but what is the logo? Is it a picture? Is it a fruit? Is it a letter? Letter. letter. It's a letter. What letter? H. H, right? It's the letter H. H B I. H B I. H B I, because it is Haynes Brown. He was right. Okay. Ah, corporation. Does your company offer discounts for the employees? Do you have discounts on your company? Yes. Tienen descuentos en la compañía? Si van a comprar alguna tienda? No. No. Does your company get many recommendations? Yes. Sometimes, right? Yes. Does your company advertise on billboards? Yes. Yes. Does your company use internet telemarketing? Internet marketing? Yes. Yes. 
Yes, yes. they have it. And telemarketing? Yes. Yes. Does your company print brochures? Yes. yes. Does your company advertise on television? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's it, right? You see, all these things are related to marketing, right? Marketing vocabulary. Those are those, the ones that we just practice are marketing vocabulary. Okay. Marketing vocabulary. Advertise is when you make when you put on publicity, right? That is advertise. Good job. So in order to move on in the business that we are working on today, we are going to cover a little bit on the different professions and occupation. What is your dream profession, people? ¿Cuál es su, su trabajo soñado? ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué les hubiera gustado ser? ¿O qué, ¿Qué sueñan ser ustedes? ¿O qué quieren ser? Porque nunca es tarde, eso sí. Because in my case, I want to be a veterinarian. I want to be a veterinarian. Sometimes. And, and someday I will be. Sueño con no morirme sin ser veterinario. I like it. What about you? What is your dream job? ¿Qué les hubiera encantado ser? ¿O qué quieren ser? ¿O qué sueñan ser? ¿O qué anhelan ser? Uh -huh. A model, an actor, an actress, a chef. Liar. A chef. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Be careful. You cannot say a liar. <laughs> liar. Pinocchio was a liar, right? Pinocchio era mentiroso. That's a liar. Yeah. But a lawyer, <laughs> okay, a lawyer, that's another one. This is un abogado. <laughs> Lawyer. <laughs> lawyer, right? Yes. Lawyer. 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 <laughs> es Pinocho, a que le la lawyer, lawyer. Imagine your husband. Si lo yo, señor esposo, no, fue una confusión. Ella no quiere ser. <laughs> What is another yeah. one that you would like to be? A chef. A chef. Lawyer. 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 Chef. A chef. Cocina. Ajá, un cocinero. What about what what are, what is another one? ¿Qué otra profesión es su trabajo soñado? Su profesión soñada. Psychologist. A psychologist. Okay. okay. Está huerta. Which one? Está huerta. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Aeromosa. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> flight attendant, a flight attendant, right? A flight attendant. A flight attendant. Good. Just give me one second that I have a um I have a couple of issues here. Give me more, give me more, okay? Tengo una invasión de palomillas aquí en la oficina. Siento que todos me caen. Okay, um a lawyer, a chef, a psychologist, a flight yeah, attendant. Yeah. What else? Another teacher. profession. A teacher. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, an elementary school teacher. An elementary school teacher. An elementary school teacher. Okay, una teacher de primaria. Créanme que nunca fue mi primera opción ser maestra. Yeah, I wanted to be a flight attendant, believe me. Yo quería ser aeromosa. Because oh. I, am, I am very tall, right? Yo soy una mujer muy alta, mido casi un 80, entonces me, me gusta eso. Yo decía, yo, I want to be a flight attendant, I said, because it, it, it was my dream, right? I wanted to learn more uh, languages and everything. But then, right, yeah, Torre Gemela, accidente de aviones. <laughs> Maybe not, I said. He said, no. <laughs> that was my dream, right? Do you want to be an actor, an actress, a model? I don't know. An actor, an actress, a model, a soccer player. I don't Me? know. It's a what? 
Okay. A doctor. A doctor. Okay. A doctor. Okay, a doctor. What was the other one? I think Brenda told me one. Bilingual teacher. Bilingual. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to be bilingual, but that's not a profession. But maybe, maybe you can be uh, an interpreter. An interpreter. So los que los que traducen. So that an interpreter. Y Kaiser, ¿qué quería hacer? Perro policía. <laughs> Ay, so cute. <laughs> okay, a police dog. Ellos también participan. Okay, an interpreter, a doctor, an actress, an actor, a model, a soccer player. What else? Would you like to be a firefighter? Or a fireman? Fireman. A fireman, un bombero, right? Pero no de esos que bailan. No, 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 me han contado, so me han contado, yo he visto películas. Qué bonito. Es que la clase era presencial ese día. Estoy <risa> llegando a las 10. Buenas. So, no, that's another one. You see, yeah, you laugh about my, my jokes. Any other profession? Would you like to be a driver? Pilot. A pilot. Good. A pilot. In Avianca, good. Don't tell me pilot, okay? Pilot, no. Pilot era un nombre incorrecto que le dábamos a los marcadores. No sé por qué en la vida le decíamos pilots. No, pilots decíamos. No, those are markers, okay? Eso se llaman markers. Pilot, it's the profession, right? The pilot. Any other one? That you say? Engineer. An engineer. An engineer. Right, an engineer. Engineer. What about an accountant? No? Ese no le gustaba. The accountant. Accountant es el contador que lleva toda la contabilidad, right? The accountant. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> or a software. A software engineer. A software engineer. Yeah. Ingeniero de software, right? An agent. A, uh, an agent. An agent, a spy, okay. An agent or a spy or a call center agent. A call center agent. Carolina no le pega al niño. A call center agent is the one that is like, hey, hello, good evening. This is English Corporativo. How can I help you? So that's a call center agent, right? I have never been, don't worry. Yo nunca he sido, pero it, it, it's like that. So those are different professions and occupations, right? Professions and occupations. What do they do? What are the things, the activities that they do every single day? So you say, George writes articles about politics. He is a journalist. Él es un reportero, right? He's a journalist. He writes, right? He writes, let me just hear. He writes articles, right? He writes articles. That's the activity that he does. Pat sells shoes in a shop. Pat sells shoes in a shop. She's a? Shop, shop assistant. Shop assistant, right? A shop assistant. It's like, oh, hi, welcome to uh, <laughs> Teacher Nati's shop. How can I help you? Right? And they are following you all the time, right? I am the traduste. Are you going to take that one? Do you want to try it? Se lo llevo acá. Se lo voy a medir. It's like, no, <laughs> So that's a shop assistant, right? Los aprecio, pero a veces no mucho. Se la llevo la caja. Se la va a medir. La va a llevar, no la va a llevar. Ya lo pensó. And it's like, no, thank you. 
Daniel serves food to customers in a restaurant. Yeah. Serves food to customers in a restaurant. He is a bartender. A, bartender. a, bartender. a waiter, right? A waiter. Waiter yeah. is the male version, right? Because we also have the waitress. Waitress is mesera, mujer, right? Waiter is mesero, hombre. Waiter, waitress. If you are on a restaurant, you say, waiter, waiter. And then the person comes like, yes, lady, how can I help you? Right? The waiter. And the waitress is a lady, right? The waitress. Claire, Claire works in a school. Claire works in a school. She's a? Teacher. She's a teacher, right? She's a teacher. Allison helps patients in a hospital. She's a? Nurse. A nurse. a nurse, right? She's a nurse. Ben helps people when they have problems. He is? Police officer. He is a police officer, or he is a psychologist, or he is a lawyer, or he is a teacher, right? He is a software engineer because they help people when they have problems. Or maybe he's a doctor, right? He's a doctor, he's a driver. We never know, right? Jenny is in many films, in many movies. She is actress. Actress. an actress, right? An actress. The next one we have here. Christopher serves drinks in a bar. He is a bartender. A bartender, right? He is a bartender. There you go. And in this one, let me just... Screenshot this one, good. He is a bartender. So there you go with the different professions. Go with me, lawyer. 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 Chef. 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 Psychologist. 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 Flight attendant. Flight Flight attendant. attendant. Teacher. 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 Elementary school teacher. Elementary school teacher. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Actor. Actor. Actress. Actress. Model. Model. Soccer player. Soccer player. Actress. Actress. Interpreter. 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 Right, predator. Interpreter. Interpreter. Bartender. Doctor. 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 Nurse. 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 Pilot. 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 Police Pilot. officer. Police officer. Shop assistant. Shop assistant. Fireman. Fireman. Journalist. Journalist. Driver. Driver. Teacher. Teacher. Engineer. Engineer. Waiter. 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 Accountant. Accountant. Software engineer. Software engineer. Agent. Agent. Spy. Spy. Call center agent. Call center agent. Waitress. 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 There you have the different the different professions, the different occupations, and there you go. I am going to send a picture of this to your chat, okay? Se lo voy a enviar a su chat en un momento. And here I go. Okay, so there you have the different professions and occupations, right? And here we have a little listening practice, right? We are going to practice this conversation. I am going to read it for you. And then we are going to cover and practice, okay? Let me see. Let me just go here. This is uh, your manual, right? The one that you have here. And here we have, well, this is what we did on the previous class, right? The agenda with Mr. Ro Mrs. Robles, right? And the different agendas that you are going to be covering with what time, right? These questions, we already covered them, 
right? También las cubrimos esta parte de las preguntas. And at the end of this class, we are going to cover on, in, and at, okay? That's for you to, to keep it in mind. Esa es la última parte que vamos a cubrir ahora, con on, in, and at. But first, we are going to do the conversation, okay? We are going to go on the conversation. Chan, chan, chan. Here it is. And it says, okay, here. Julie, so what do you do in your free time? That's Julie. So what do you do in your free time? Well, I always watch TV in the evening. What about you? I go jogging and sometimes I meet friends in the evening. Um, how often do you go jogging? I go jogging every morning. And you? Um, I never go jogging. Maybe once a year. Do you cook? No, I never cook. I always order pizza. And you? I cook every day. I love cooking. How often do you travel? I travel twice a year. In winter, I usually go skiing. Do you travel? Yes, every summer. I relax on the beach, but I rarely travel in winter, okay? Do you remember the first option that I use? What do you do in your free time? Do you remember oh. the first option? Well, I- Always. And I say, always. I always watch TV in the evening. What about you? And the next one says, um, I go jogging and I sometimes. sometimes meet friends in the evening. How often do you go jogging? I go jogging every morning. And you? I, I hardly ever, right? I hardly ever. Yo no, 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 no. never, pero aquí dice once a year, right? I hardly ever no, go no, no, no. jogging. Maybe once a year. Do you cook? No, I because he says I always order pizza and you I cook every day. I love cooking. How often do you travel? I travel twice a year. In winter, I usually go skiing. Do you travel? Yes, every summer I relax on the beach, but I rarely travel in winter. Okay, so there you go. There you have the conversation. Let me just change here. And I am going to ask uh, Edwin and Isabel, can you help me with the conversation? Edwin is Richard and Isabel is Julie. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Well, I, I I always often watch TV in the evening. What do you about? No, what about you? I go jogging. Um, sometimes sometimes meet friend in the evening mm -hmm. evening evening evening. evening. Mm. How often do you go 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 jogging? I go jogging every morning, and you? I early ever, never go go, never go jogging, maybe once a year. Okay, usamos uno, uno, Edwin. No usamos los dos, puede ser. I hardly ever ah, go okay. jogging, or I never go jogging. Okay. Uh, hardly ever. No uh, jogging. Every... Go jogging. Never, never go jogging. Air is hardly Har ever hardly go, ever hardly ever go jogging. Yes, I hardly ever go jogging. Uh -huh. go jogging. Maybe once a year. Do you cook? Uh, no, I never cook. I never cook. I never cook. I uh -huh. I, I always I always I always order pizza and you? I cook every day. I love cooking. How often do you travel? I travel three twice, a year. Twice a, twice a year. In winter, 
I usually go ski. Do you travel? Yes, uh, I already travel in winter. Yes, every yes. summer, you say. Every summer. Yes, every summer. Rarely, the ultimo, rarely, rarely, rarely in summer. In winter. In the winter. <laughs> yeah, and por eso no me enamoro yo mismo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, what do you do in your free time? It says, so, what do you do in your free time? Go with me, everybody. I want to So, what do you do in your free time? So, what, what do you do, do in your free time? time? What do you do in your free time? So, what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Uh -huh. So, es una palabra que ocupamos para romper el hielo y empezar la conversación. Así como, so... pues sí. <laughs> right. Pues sí. So, yeah, what do you do in your free time? Entonces, Entonces what right? do you do in your free time? Well, what did you do? The, what did you do? Where I, so, what do you do in your free time? Well, what did you do? Well, I always, I always watch, watch TV in the evening. What, what about you? What about you? What about you? When you say well, it's like when we say well, well. I often or I always watch TV in the evening. What about you? Evo, right? What about you? What about you? Well, I always watch TV in the evening. What about you? Well, I always watch TV in the evening. What about you? Well, I always watch TV in the evening. What about you? What about you? In the what evening. About you? What, what about, about you? you? What about, what about you? you? What about, what about, about you? you? What about you? What about you? I go jogging. I go jogging. I go jogging. I go jogging. And I sometimes. And I sometimes, sometimes, sometimes meet friends in the evening. Meet friends in the evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. Evening. No. Say evening. 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 Oh no, para mí se me trae. Evening. No, you don't use it. Say evening. Evening. Solo usan la Evening. 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 How often do you go jogging? How often, How do, you go How jogging? often do you go jogging? <laughs> I go jogging every morning. And you? I, I go jogging every, every morning. And you? I hardly ever go jogging. I hardly ever go jogging. Maybe once a year. Once Maybe once, once a year. year. Do you cook? Yeah. Once a year, you say once a year. Once a year. Once a year. Do you cook? Yeah. Do you cook? No, I never cook. No, no I never cook. I always order pizza. I always order pizza. And you? And you? Uh, I cook every day. I, I love cooking. I cook 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 every day. Day. I love cooking. I love cooking. I love cooking. I love cooking. How often do you travel? How often, How often do you travel? travel? I travel twice a year. I, I travel, travel twice, twice a year. I travel twice a year. I travel twice a year. I travel twice a year. Twice a year. Twice a year. In winter, in winter, winter, I usually go skiing. I, I usually, usually go skiing. Do you travel? Do you travel? Do you travel? Yes, every summer. Yes, yes. Every, every summer. summer. I relax on the beach. I, I relax, 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 relax on the beach. beach. But I sometimes travel in winter. But I sometimes I travel, travel in, winter. In, winter. in winter. In winter. But I rarely in travel winter. in winter. In winter. Uh, 
Every summer I relax on the beach, but I rarely travel in winter. Right? I rarely, rarely travel in winter. In winter. Okay. I will stop sharing because I want to share my a picture that I have for at in and on. Right, we have the adverse of frequency here. And here we have, okay, another one for adverse of frequency. And I am going to share here. Okay, no, this is the practice for tomorrow and telling the time. Okay, let me just open my desktop. Creo que lo tengo en el escritorio. Great. Entre tanto, chunche que tengo aquí. I, I have a lot of things. You cannot imagine how many things I have on, on my on my computer. But I think I got it. Yeah, it's right here. And here it is. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, estamos. Let me share it with you. I have it. Let me see. Uy. Let me see if I can share this one. I don't really know. Oh, yes. Here it is. So we have at, in, and on, right? At, in, and on. In is for general things, on is more specific in very specific things, at, right? Here we have the different forms, the different uses of them, right? In, in, on, and very, right? For in, you can say in the 19, uh, in 1992, in the 90s, in 1990, in 2000, right? In March, in June, in five weeks, in a spring, in the future, right? In, okay. in lo usamos con cosas en el tiempo que son realmente grandes, pero lo usamos para marcarlo. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos in five weeks, en cinco semanas, in a spring, in the future, in the morning, in the weekend, right? So you can use it for the countries as well. You say in France, in Paris, in Manhattan, in a car, right? So you go in the use of in. On, you use it for a specific things. You say on the weekend, on Monday, on April, on my birthday, on Sunday morning, on Easter. You can use it for streets. So you say on Columbus Street, on 7th Avenue, on the floor, on a bus, on the radio, right? And at, so you say at 8 a.m., at midnight, at the moment, at Easter, at the street, at station, right? So there you have the three different uses for at, in, and on, okay? Le voy a enviar estas imágenes al chat para que no se aflijan, así como, no, no lo recordaré nunca, teacher, no. Oh, no. We are going to use it, right? We're going to send it on the chat. But this is the biggest picture that I have. And I have here another definition that it's a little bit easier, right? This is another one that I am going to share with you about the adverse of frequency. Le voy a enviar esta otra que usamos ahora de los adverse of frequency para que también la tengamos ahí la podamos recordar. So we have the adverse of frequency. I am going to share this one that is for tomorrow about the time, esta es la que vamos a usar el día de mañana, and the other one about adverse of frequency. But, in a very specific way, at, in, and on, lo tienen en su manual también. So you have on, on Saturday, on January, on Monday, on February, on Wednesday. In, ¿en qué caso usamos in? May. In, in May. In... In 2018, in the, in the, the summer, summer, in, in the, the morning, morning, at, 
Up to 30. Up to 30. At noon. At night. At night. At midnight. 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 Okay. So on. Para días, meses. I say on Saturday, on, on January, on Monday, on Wednesday. In, for the May. months, right? In May, for the years, mm. in 2018, for the okay. seasons, in the summer, okay. for specific times of the day, in the morning, right? In the afternoon. But at night, right? At 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. Right? So there you have it. On your manual, you have this exercise, right? Tienen este ejercicio en su manual. Okay? Basado en esto que tenemos aquí arriba, at, in, and on, me gustaría que completen este ejercicio que tienen en el manual. It's section number three. Es de la sección tres. Okay? Using at, in, or on, dependiendo lo que tengamos aquí. Are you busy? Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon. ¿Cuál oh. usaríamos? Oh. For, on, on, on Monday, right? On Monday afternoon, okay? So please, I need you to read the rest of the paragraph and complete it, okay? That will be for tomorrow. Es la página 9 de su manual, sección 3, okay? And you are going to complete that. Página 9 de su manual, sección 3. That will be for tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to work on the time, on the clock, and... We are going to finish with that, okay? So my dear class, have a fantastic night. That's all for today. And I am going to see you tomorrow for the rest of this class. Remember that on Wednesday you have vacation, right? El miércoles tienen vacación. Yes. Para que celebren ahí a sus mamitas. Yeah. O a toda representación de madre que tengamos, a sus abuelitas, a sus tías. A su esposa. Teacher, right. manda la foto de esa tarea. I am going to send everything. Le voy a mandar las fotos de, los, de las imágenes que ocupamos ahora, la tarea, y obviamente, pues, lo que tenemos que hacer para mañana. Okay? Have a good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hasta aquí me llevas a su Bye-bye.